Coming after Parade in Can Can, Circus was the third panel in a series by Sarah on the popular attractions of the modern city and its late night entertainment. The circus theme was often covered in the 1880s, especially by Renoir, Degas, and Toulouse Lautrec. But Circus is seen as one of the most impressive applications of divisionist theory. In it, Seurat interprets Charles Henry's theories on the psychological effects of line and color. When the painting was exhibited at the Salon des Independents in 1891, one critic observed that everything in circus achieves harmony through analogy, through the conciliation of opposites, conspiring towards a sense of gaiety, ascending lines, successive tone contrasts, pronounced dominance of orange, highlighted by a frame which creates an opposition of tone and color with the whole. journey that spans centuries and continents. Circuses have evolved from ancient Roman chariot races to the modern, high-energy spectacles we know today. Here is a brief overview of the history of the circus. Ancient Origins The concept of the circus can be traced back to ancient civilizations. In ancient Rome, for example, chariot races and gladiatorial contests were popular forms of entertainment in large arenas. Circus Maximus The Circus Maximus in Rome was one of the most famous ancient circuses. It could hold up to 150,000 spectators and was primarily used for chariot races. The Romans also had circus games that included various forms of entertainment, medieval jugglers and acrobats. During the Middle Ages, traveling performers such as jugglers, acrobats, and jesters entertained crowds at fairs and festivals across Europe. These early performers laid the foundation for modern circus act. Philip Astley The modern circus is often attributed to Philip Astley, an Englishman who opened an equestrian school in London in 1768. He is credited with combining horsemanship with acrobatics and clowning creating the first modern circus ring. The circus comes to America. Circus performances made their way to America in the late 18th century. John Bill Ricketts is often credited with establishing the first circus in the United States in 1793. P.T. Barnum in the American Circus. In the 19th century, Phineas Taylor Barnum became one of the most famous circus impresarios in history. He co-founded Barnum's American Museum in New York. George Sera, born December 2, 1859, Paris, France died March 29, 1891, Paris, was a painter and founder of the 19th-century French school of Neo-Impressionism whose technique for portraying the play of light using tiny brush strokes of contrasting colors became known as pointillism.